So moving forward, it's been over a year now, and the same question has been asked over and over again. So what now? Are you going to you know, start over? You're going to get back up on that horse? You're going to get a girlfriend? You're going to get a wife? Start a new family? What are you going to do? And I'm like, I, I got dogs. I'm good right now. I know what it's like to be single for a long time, and I know what it's like to be in a relationship for a long time. And there's pros and cons to both. I can only speak for the guys on this one. Some guys. <laughs> guys, you ever been single so long you start to question whether or not it's by choice? <laughs> and then you find yourself saying things like, guess I'll be single forever, you know, just nobody wants me. Nobody wants me, nobody wants me. Some of you are laughing because you have that friend. A lot of you are quiet because that's you right now. And then you notice how sometimes all it takes are just a couple of minor changes, a couple of minor adjustments to get back in the game. Like maybe you, maybe you start cutting your hair different, maybe you start dressing better, maybe you start, I don't know, showering and shit. <laughs> Someone takes notice and decides to give you a chance and now you're back in the game. And there's no greater feeling in the world than that of being in a brand new relationship because you're just so happy. You're so happy, you're the most optimistic person in the world. Nothing can mess your day up when it's brand new. You can miss your bus on the way to work. <laughs> There'll be another. <laughs> you could get fired. Guess it wasn't meant to be. You are so freaking happy. And then you start to reflect on your life before the relationship. And you remember how you would look at your phone and it would never ring. You know, you thought it was broken because it wouldn't ring. There's no text messages. You look at your DMs, nothing. But the minute you get into a brand new relationship, like magic, your phone, text message, ding, your social media. Now you got numbers in there. People in the street are talking to you. And then you say this out loud. Where were all these people at when I was single? Answer, they were there the whole time. The difference is you were not this happy. I found out that happiness is one of the most attractive things in the world. Who doesn't want to be around someone who's positive? You know? Well, unless you got COVID, never mind. Um, <laughs> nice, pleasant, a joy to be around, <laughs> good energy. You know who really notices just how happy you are, guys, when it's that brand new relationship? Other women. Not your woman, other women. They can't help but notice how happy you are. They stare at you and they point. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Oh, I bet I can change that. <laughs> Guys, you are now blood in the water and the sharks are out. And if you've never been hunted before, it is one of the scariest things in the world. Because usually you don't know you're being hunted until it's too late. You're over there minding your business, you're in your relationship, you're trying to make it work, and here they come. Before you know it, it's too late. She's got a hold of you, and she has you pinned down in the back seat of a car. And she's hitting you. She's hitting you with a baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark you will never look at that song the same way again you're welcome <laughs> <laughs>